Okay. So, you know, we were talking about injection and I mentioned something called micro and, and macro. Macro infusion is what we have to do for oak wilt. This is a macro infusion setup. This is really typical um, it, for a small tree like this. see how it's this pressure tank is hooked up to this tubing and each one of those orange sections is actually like a plastic needle that goes into the vascular uh, system of the tree how deep are you going in it's about a half to three quarters of an inch below the bark so if the bark's an inch you know yeah but so what happens is those are put into the tree and then you raise the pressure just above air pressure on the tank. So we're talking 10, 15, just above air pressure. So you have positive pressure on the, the chemical and the tree up will take it up naturally as it's, as it's moving hmm. moisture through its vascular tissue. That's why you gotta have the green leaves. You have to have active vascular tissue in order for an injection to be successful. So this tree... Look, that... he just dosed this. This yeah. is cool to watch. So he primed this line with pure water first. Okay, to get it. This is just like setting an IV in a hospital. So it's primed with pure water first. And then once it's... You can tell there's no leaks and it's, it's taking, it's moving. You dose. We dose now with the Alamo, which has a dye indicator in it. You can see the Alamo is moving. It's, it's gonna eventually, this blue is gonna be around the entire thing. And we'll know that this tree's taking this up. Alamo, I keep, saying, <laughs> yes. I keep saying Alamo and I'm gonna, Alamo's the fungicide. It is the brand name fungicide that Texas A&M performed their studies with. They did work with Alamo. Now that chemical, propiconazole, that's the active ingredient, can be found in other brands. And some brands are specifically formulated for root injection. Others are not. They're more of like a, just a generic. Um, it's the same chemical, same amount, but there's a different formulation there so still to the, the still to this day right now the official recommendation is alamo fungicide through macro infusion that's from the texas forest service and that's i try to stick with that when it comes to oak wilt when it comes to oak wilt the science is really out on it there's no more surprises in fact 2007 I think was the last oak wilt symposium national symposium it was 07 or 08 I was there and at the keynote opening of this egghead event about oak wilt in Austin it was announced that there would never be another oak wilt symposium because the science is out nothing new has happened in oak wilt since that time and now so somewhere along the way the taxonomist decided they'd do some stuff and they changed the genus. That's all that's changed. So it used to be Ceratocystis fagaciarum, not anymore. 